to the vlog. This episode's theme is distraction. I have been so distracted in this past month. There are a plethora of reasons for that. Firstly, brand new camera. We will chat more about that later on. Secondly, as uh, some of you may know, October is the anniversary or this October would be the second anniversary of my mom's passing. So that is always uh, very present in my mind. I've also been putting on a number of very large events at work. You're probably looking at a time lapse from a fancy award show that I did right now. And honestly, that's that's been awesome because it's been distracting. The bad thing about distracting things, taking you away from your existing distraction is that you never quite discover that you're putting distance between yourself and the distraction. Distance eventually becomes discomfort, distrust, disadvantage, and you find yourself becoming more and more in disbelief of your distaste until you decide to disconnect. And that is my dissonant, disjointed way of saying that I burnt myself out and um, I'm currently on a week break. <laughs> Back to the distractions. Okay, here we are. Uh, well, not quite Gatineau Park. This is actually the uh, sort of like main bridge that goes into Gatineau Park from Gatineau. Pretty interesting, uh, interesting spot under this underpass. I'm gonna do some like POV photography here and fill you in a little more. As you saw in the intro to this video, I've been to Gatineau Park uh, three or four times over the course of the month looking for places to shoot and, and uh, concepts that stand out to me. This bridge particularly stood out to me just, just because of the way it's positioned. It's a very human uh, architectural element made of almost pure concrete and rebar, but it just kind of rips through this natural landscape. And, and I, I guess I like the juxtaposition of those two ideas. And I also quite enjoy the way that the light from the bright sky bleeds into the shadows of the bridge. I find it makes a nice transitional effect. As I further my skills in photography, I find myself focusing more and more on dynamics in photos. Um, that is the difference between the lightest point and the darkest point in the photo, or creating a lot of contrast in the photo. Whereas in my early days, I, I would be quite fascinated with flattening out a photo and seeing the camera get all the data, but I've uh, been more focused on the emotion in, in the value lately. Yeah, so I'm b back at home for the afternoon, uh, just taking a little break, and I wanted to further expand on those distractions I was talking about earlier. When I say distractions, I, I mean, of course, all of the things that are going on in my life, and uh, honestly, that's fair to some and not fair to others. Uh, essentially, I, I put myself through a lot in one week. Um, I had three 12-hour days at work, I had a midterm, I had two assignments due, and during that week was the actual date of my mother's passing. Um, so yeah, on, on, on Monday I decided that I really needed some time away to focus on myself and, and immerse myself in those emotions rather than being distracted from them to 
you know, process them and get on with my life. Shortly after I was on the underpass, I biked around a little longer and I started to get hungry and I get kind of sad, upset when I'm hungry um, on my current medication. So I had to go like pull over and have an emergency sushi break, insert clip here. Um, and then I just kind of was running low on bike battery and stuff, so I decided to come back home. Tonight, I have therapy at 4.30 downtown for about an hour, and then after that, I am going to beeline it back into the park for some sunset photography. See you there. I said I'm going back to the park earlier, but I actually meant get no park. Uh, but then I went downtown for my therapy appointment and had a really unexpectedly deep session. <laughs> it got me thinking and walking and I ended up downtown for the sunset, as you saw, uh, instead of in the park. But honestly, th that session you just saw there and POV was one of my favorite photography sessions in a while. And I think it just speaks to the theme I brought up at the beginning of this episode, which is distraction. <laughs> that is to say, like, I intended to do something else with this vlog, got distracted, and wound up with some pretty interesting results, I think. I'd like to pay particular attention to this photo. That lady was... <sighs> I don't know, I, as I walked by her, I caught a glimpse of the side of her face, and she just looked so at peace, staring into the sunset. I think 
moments like that during photography, especially street photography, when you, when the whole the entire goal, uh, I know this video wasn't supposed to be a, about street photography, but I guess it is now. The entire goal is to capture people's emotions, the beauty of, of human existence. And that moment put me somewhere that I haven't been in a while. And I think I, I it all came together for me. The reason I am dying to take photos in Gatineau Park, the reason I am so deep in my grief for my mom right now. Photography is my art form. It's the closest art form to my heart, if that makes sense. A lot of people use art to process their feelings, and I use photography. And when my mom passed away two years ago, I threw myself into photography. In fact, that was right around the same time I bought my first Fuji camera, this one. I bought this camera right uh, right before my mom passed away, actually, looking to get back into my photography hobby. And then all at once it became a passion. I, I started shooting with this camera like every day. I started trying to post a photo to my Instagram every single day from this camera. And I think I was in some way using the art as an as an escape as a as a process a way to a, a way to process my grief and and at some point along the way the two became so intermingled that i, I can't really do one without the other 